it is likely that in the next few months or perhaps the next few years, in the lead up to possible diplomacy and negotiations, there will be more threatening language, more threatening acts that are not necessarily a prelude to war, but are a prelude to the opening uh, uh, negotiations and bargaining over the future of the Korean Peninsula. And of course, any time that serious threats are made, that weapons are tested, there is an increased possibility for war. North Korea has never admitted publicly or never boasted about its cyber attacks. And it boasts about its missile technology and its nuclear, attack, uh, nuclear tests all the time. So there's a lot of uncertainty about where, where these attacks are coming from. Defectors and others have confirmed that there are uh, fairly elaborate and sophisticated efforts to sponsor teams of of hackers um, working, uh, some of them working in North Korea, but not necessarily all of them working in North Korea, but paid for by North Korea. Um, and these, um, these efforts date back decades. Um, and the North Koreans are not really bound by sort of conventional restraints in terms of unleashing cyber warfare. North Korea, since the ending of the Korean War in 1953, uh, has been boxed in by, uh, by enemies and rivals on all sides. Uh, and it has claimed the, the um, legitimacy um, for ruling the whole Korean peninsula. Uh, in the Cold War, it was able to play China and the Soviet Union off against each other in order to, uh, to sort of advance some of its goals. Uh, since the end of the Cold War, it's had no real friends, and it has felt that it has been given a raw deal um, and has not been able to move in the direction that it wants to. It has not been able to, um, to acquire more territory on the Korean Peninsula. It has not been able to pursue its economic goals, and um, it also hasn't been able to pursue its broader sort of political ambitions in the international community. And it seems clear that what North Korea is trying to do is try to get a better deal than it has had in the last few decades. And it has used provocative acts, um, and it's obviously used uh, the development of, of nuclear weapons in order to try to force the, 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 the world, the global community, to, to give it something different.